Now, let's pick teams. I've got a ton of work. You could just leave me out this year. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Terry, Terry, Interesting. Terry. But how naive do you think we are? You're not participating, so you can sneak under our noses and steal a victory like Santiago did last year. I'm going to my desk. Heist or dumb? So what are you planning for the heist? The only thing I'm planning is getting my work done. I'm sure you are. Come clean, or we'll tell everybody about your mistress. I don't have a mistress. You don't? But you're so good looking. What's the point? There is the small issue of me losing my partner. Now, Terry, I know that you were upset that no one picked you earlier. Not what happened. Regardless, please be my partner. Please, 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 please. No! Heist are dumb, and I have work to do. You're dumb, and I have heist to do. Yeah! Overreacted, damn it! Look who I found hiding in the interrogation room. This guilty son of a bitch. Still your sergeant. I wasn't hiding. I was doing my work. Hitchcock and Scully were with me. Were they? Or perhaps were they distracted by your brilliant pizza ruse? Totally distracted. I ate two whole pies, folded them up like tacos. You're suspect number one, Jeffords. Whatever. Whatever. Spoken like a common criminal. Still a long time till sunup. All I have to say is, whoever took that plaque, you better watch out. Come on, Rosa. Are heists dumb? Are heists dumb? Of course not. That was a stupid question. No, Jake, it says heists are dumb. <gasps> Carrie! The Oscar for Best Liar goes to you. That's not an Oscars category. What's going on? Not to be harsh, Sarge, but you're setting a terrible example for your daughters, and they're going to grow up to be total failures. You take that back. No, she's right, Jeffords. Your children are doomed. Where's the plaque? For the last time. I don't know. I've been working here the whole time. Ask them. Well, actually, well, we both fell asleep. And Jeffords never woke us up. Coincidence? I don't need this. You're not going anywhere. Damn, Rosa! None of you stand a chance against me. No courage, no patience, no brains. And, of course, a bald old man. I'm younger than you. No come back for the bald thing, I see. Yeah, I'm not doing the heist. I'm out. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. Right. right, just like you were out last year. I was out last year. As a setup for this year. You're good, Jeffords, but not good enough. In fact, you're an idiot. I should have fired you long ago. What? Relax, Terry. Chill out. Get your undies out of your buns. Rosa, I am very disappointed. You. Your approval means nothing to me. Copy that. And Terry, I knew you were playing. Last year was a setup. Hell yeah, it was. I'm sick of you, Amy, and Holt winning. You're all so damn smug. But speaking of yogurt, you've eaten six GPS devices this week. You should definitely see a doctor. What? Mm -hmm. Wait, I will only do this under one condition. Sergeant Jeffords agrees that this will help his nerves. Yeah, I mean, I would like to take my mind off the test. <laughs> Maybe I'll win this year. Ah, <laughs> uh, the heist is already working. Sergeant Jeffords has recovered his sense of humor. <laughs> hey! There, now they're locked in. Arrange your affairs. The heist begins in five minutes. Five minutes? But this whole thing was so last second. I don't even have any plans or supplies. I have so many plans and supplies. I even have a victory banner that unfurls with a voice command. I can't say what, but it's so cool. I thought this was a spur of the moment fun way to distract me from freaking out about my exam. Well, it wasn't exactly hard to predict, Sarge. Your catchphrase is Terry hates tests. It's true. Terry hates tests. But the point is, I planned everything, starting with Scully's bracelet. It had to be the prize because I have prepared the greatest reveal in heist history. Allow me to introduce you to... Other Scully. Hi, I'm Merle, Norm's twin brother. Why has Scully never mentioned he had a twin before? Because no one talks about their siblings with coworkers. No, I've told you about my brother Lawrence. Nope, and I don't want to learn about him, and I already forgot his name. Now let's go, it's time to heist! Well, that's terrifying. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna hide the old bracelet and win me this heist. Oh, don't you mean win us this heist? Oh, Terrence, unfortunately, I do not. What the hell? Sorry, Sarge. It had to be this way. Why? The banner only has my name on it. It's really all about the banner. It unfurls by a voice command. But I promise that I will mention both you and Earl Scully in my victory speech. Wait, Earl's here? Yeah, he helped us with the heist. I told that son of a bitch never to show his face in New York again! Oh, why are you running towards the glass? <laughs> Ugh, you're a dead man, Earl! <laughs> that's not great. You're a dead man, Jake! That's much worse. Just so you know, Jake has the bracelet in his pocket. Why would you tell them that we're a team? You locked me up. Yeah, but they didn't know that. Well, stop eating eggs and come help me with the heist. I'm not helping you. Why not? Ugh, is this because I once betrayed you? Yes, it was our last interaction. The plan worked. I got it. Oh my God, you look like an Oscar. Ooh, we should take a picture where it looks like I'm holding you. Jake. You're right, there's no time. We'll do it later. No, we won't. Help me get this paint off. Okay, put your hands out and I'll squirt you with a little makeup remover. Hi -ya! No! You're betraying me again? Why? 
why? Because of the banner. But I thought you said our friendship was more important. Yeah, that was obviously a lie. The banner was very expensive. I don't have a lot of money, Sarge. All right, bye. Don't make a lot of noise. Jay! Oh, Terry, you ripped yourself free. Yeah, maybe you should try cupping me to a stronger metal next time. Yeah, I don't know the relative strength of metals. What's going on? Why does Terry look like an Oscar? Doesn't he? He has the bracelet. We grabbed Mr. Hootsworth from Cheddar and swapped it for a fake. Wow, Terry, my betrayals were all in good fun, but this really hurts. Enough! Terry's had enough of this. This was supposed to be just a fun game, but it's turned you all into terrible people. Betraying your husband, putting your friend in the mail. Jake and Amy, did you guys buy each other any gifts this year that weren't tasers? No. no. Now you all pretended that this was all about helping me with my test, but none of you cared one bit. You know what? You all suck. Oh no, my voice commands. Terry, look out! <laughs> Okay, I know that was bad, but let's not jump to any conclusions about whose fault it was. Wow, what a fun improvised song! Wait, where is everyone? Where are all the desks? What is happening? What's happening is... You all suck! song. Terry? I'm out. Terry is retiring from heisting. I don't have anything left to prove after my win last year. But we need you. What if one of us has a plan that involves a big, strong brute? Not a great sales pitch, Drake. Terry is going out on top. Ugh, fine. Mm, got a pedicure, made a smoothie, because Terry loves smoothies. Retiring early was the best decision I have ever made. Well, you're missing out. People are saying this is the most fun heist we've ever done. It looks like Hope keeps trying to put his whole hand in Cheddar's mouth while Rosa Googles how to make a dog vomit. Yeah, like I said, we're having a blast. <laughs> Maybe it was Terry who sent the flowers. Yeah, I really wanted to spend $2,000 on Valentine's Day, not for my wife. Ah, he admitted it. Just tell us how you did it. Everything hinged on Jeffords. I needed him to drop out of the heist so he'd have access to everyone's secrets, which is why I set up a fake interview for him. You were working with Williams? But he locked us in his office. Which was critical to me gaining your trust, so you told me where the tube was hidden. Terry's really Armed with that information, I texted Kevin, who retrieved the tube and handed it off to a person who lured you all here, and that person was a dog, and that dog was Cheddar. Hold up. That big speech about how I'd make a great captain, that was all a lie? No, no, I meant every word of it. In fact, it's exactly what I said to the real Williams two weeks ago. It's part of the reason he decided to make you the new captain of the 9-9. Wait, what? Is this fake, too? Y'all need to cut the and be honest with me. This is my life we're talking about. You want to know if it's real? Open your gift and find out. A bag of fish? Great speech, Terry, but we're kind of trapped in here. Not for long. I'm gonna Kool-Aid man us the hell out of here. I thought you said that was impossible. It's not. I just find it demeaning. It's actually very easy. Oh, yes! Now go through that wall! I'm not doing any more walls, Jake. We're free. Fair enough, I had to ask. 